you feel free out here. It's a beautiful, quiet, wild place. I'm here on the west branch of the Penobscot River with the Natural Resources Council of Maine's 50th anniversary, Pat Chanterelle. And where are you from, Pat? From Yarmouth. Fabulous trip. Great. This is a beautiful river, beautiful piece of the woods. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, every moment up here is, has been really special. It's, I think it's the really the, the beauty of it, uh, the beauty and the quietness and uh, just a, an outstanding experience. Your name? My name is John Fry. I live in Friendship, Maine, which is Midcoast, Maine. Emma Dryden. And where are you from, Emma? New York City, New York. <laughs> and where are you now? I am in the North Woods of Maine. Not sure where I am, <laughs> but on a beautiful river uh, with uh, early morning sun rising. And, uh, very, very far away from New York City right now. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. It's uh, a wonderful respite from the urban uh, corporate environment of New York from which I certainly come. And uh, just a wonderful reminder of what else is out there in the world. We're in our campsite on the third night of our West Branch trip, and we are camped on a high bluff overlooking uh, the West Branch. There's a, we're on the tip of, northern tip of an island, southern tip of the island, and uh, out there that's splashing in the water is uh, Emma from New York, who is taking a swim in the river. God knows where I am. But it's cold, it's damp, oh my god, I don't know what to do with my hair, there's nothing to plug into my curling iron, i got to get out. I'm Alexandra Conover, I have few trips in the summer and snowshoe trips in the winter time here in Maine and in Labrador. done oh. it for maybe 30 years now. So she's just tying the cross piece on with some small rope. And then she's going to hang the pots off the cross piece, and that's how they cook. I'm Garrett Conover from Willimantic, Maine. You can see the handmade canoes that we are using. The Conovers uh, have wooden and canvas canoes, and it's been really a thrill to paddle these canoes. They're made in the traditional way. Natural history, human history. Northwoods culture. The, I've always been drawn to wilderness and wildness, and it's the best place uh, south of Canada and east of the Mountain West that's available. We've got morning here on the west branch of the Penobscot River. We're incredibly lucky. This is the fourth sunny day we've had in a row. It's 40 degrees this morning, and just right up the river there, about 10 minutes ago, a couple of moose crossed right in front of us. So that was nice. And there on the right-hand bank is a place where we've seen four beaver hanging out, playing in the water, eating on the shoreline, just having a great time. Um, 36 years ago, I came up... Uh, with College of the Atlantic for its orientation trip. Um, and it was, I think about it now, I think it was the first wilderness I'd ever seen. So I'd been to Kia before, but not like this kind of wilderness. So it was, and I think it stayed inside of me all these years. Um, Patty Haven from Portland, Maine. And There's not um, a lot of people up here. You can get a real outdoor experience and not be confronted with uh, the modern civilization creeping in. There's no McDonald's, there's no intrusion, everything's very basic and very primitive. Iggy, live in Portland, Maine. Paul <laughs> And where are you from, Paul? Drake, Massachusetts. Um, the last big piece of natural real estate we have in the Northeast. And I think not only is it a treasure for Maine, but it's also a treasure for all the states in the Anne. In and where do you live, Ann? New York City. It's absolutely beautiful. It's quiet. There's lots of wildlife. It's just a stunning, stunning I think, place. Uh, somebody just needs to spend 
a couple of days up here and it's really a special place and certainly would hate to see anybody affect this negatively. It's just been so special. This environment is the bit of respite and peace that all of us need. And without protection, it's going to be gone. And I think it's vital that NRCM help protect this environment. It's almost like this is the breath that the earth needs to take up here to keep surviving.